Hi. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not some kind of symbolic cry of feminism or any kind of ritual of the sorts. I cleaned my room out and I found some old bras, so we're gonna destroy them. Because what else are you gonna do with them? Hello! We're going to ignore the fact that my nails haven't been done in weeks and they're awful. Now, as you can see in front of me, I have three different bras. They, I don't know why the word bras came out of my mouth like that. They are the exact same bra, but three different colors because I am diverse as heck. A little backstory before we start cutting into them. These are the Wonder Bras. Um, yeah, they're all in shambles because I wore them for so long that every little piece of it is kind of falling apart. And yeah, so I believe I wore these in middle school and maybe the beginning of high school. It's called the Wonder Bra. It, I got it from Kohl's and basically when I was younger, all I would wear were push-up bras. So I don't know if you can tell, but that entire thickness right there is padding to make my non-existent boobs look like they are there. When I was younger, I literally refused to wear anything but push-up bras. Ridiculously thick padding. I think this is the thickest one I ever had. That's why I got three of them, because I always needed one to wear. They are really gross looking by this point. Around the same era, if I'm going to wear push-up bras every day, of course I have to get a push-up bikini, right? As if this push-up bikini weren't enough, I had it altered by my mother. Um, so instead of regular straps that just go over the shoulder, I made her cut them and sew them back so they would be crisscross in the back to give me extra non-existent boob lift. I have no game plan, I'm just gonna, you know, cut and see what's inside of this Wonder Bra. Sometimes I used to think there was water in there, I thought I could maybe hear it, but now I'm not so sure, I think it might just be padding and air. I have my handy dandy scissors that have... Some kind of oil all over them. Okay, I'm really confused about what's happening because I grabbed my scissors and there was some kind of oil all over the handles. And when I look on these bras now, it looks as if there is oil on them. And I don't know what that oil is or where it's coming from. Maybe it's from the inside of the bra. Maybe the bra is leaking. Maybe I should get a towel. I'm gonna get a towel. I just went and got a towel out of the dirty clothes bin because why would I use a clean towel? Um, so let's just start by cutting her right in between the boobs. There's something really satisfying about cutting a bra, honestly. We can cut her straps off. Alright, so... We have half of a boob. I'm trying not to puncture the actual padding because I fear that there may be some liquid in there. I'm trying to stay on camera too. It's hard because it's kind of far away. Let's see if there's a way we can open this before we cut it. Here we go. We're gonna pull off the cheetah print. See again, I'm feeling liquid. It is liquid inside of here. Do you see that? Oh my god. I don't know if that's safe to touch. What if I die? Maybe I should be doing this outside. We'll go around the edges. Can you hear that? Sounds very liquidy. Um, are these what they call water bras? I don't know. It doesn't feel like water. It feels like oil. So if it is oil, what kind of oil? Because I don't want to die from this. I don't have any like chemical resistant gloves. Imagine they probably don't make this harmful in case you're wearing it and it bursts, right? Still hitting padding. Nothing's coming out from there yet. 
So maybe just this center area might just be a pocket of water or oils because it's making me oily. We're going to keep going down until we hit something. So far it's just padding it still. Let's see. Oh, now there is this little design in the padding that makes me believe there is a pouch there. And still more padding inside of there. At this point, I'm confused. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've hit a hole. Oh. I found something, guys. There's something in there. What is that? Do you see that? There's like a piece of plastic in there. So we're going to cut away at this padding. That must be what's holding the liquid. Oh my god. That is neat. As if this wasn't already obvious, it looks as if the plastic has busted. But that is definitely an oily substance in there. Hmm. Alright. This one's already leaking too. I wonder if by cutting it in between where the two boobs connect, if I must have severed maybe like a a tube connecting the two plastic things because once I cut that this one started leaking too. So we're just gonna cut straight down the middle. So as you can see that opened up the pocket from a different angle. There's, I can't really cut the wire. Okay, something just happened to the scissors. I opened them really wide and I tried to cut the wire and now the oh never mind why do these look like they have vegemite on the tip i can't get the wire to cut but as you can see there's liquid running out of these uh oh do you see that okay i've disposed of most of that one this one which has already started leaking so right now i'm just gonna squeeze these and see if any more stuff comes out oh okay i just felt okay yep when i was squeezing it i felt um kind of like a bigger smush than usual and as soon as i did it started coming out oh now it's coming out this side okay i think that's all i'm gonna do with these wonder bras i already cut one open so you could see what's inside um, the liquid is scaring me just a little bit. My fingers feel fine. I'm not in any kind of pain. And I don't think they would put a harmful to skin chemical inside of a clothing product. But it does kind of freak me out because these are very, very old. Years and years and years old, as you can see. They're all worn out and messed up. So I am done with the Wonder Bras. I'll just leave her sitting there now that you know what's on the inside. And we're just going to go for the yellow bikini top. As you can clearly see on this one where the padding is, I'm 99% positive this is only padding because I couldn't imagine they would put an oil or a liquidy substance in a swimsuit. I don't know how to puncture things, so we're just gonna cut at it until it opens. Yep, this is nothing but padding. I'll go ahead and cut it open this way so you can see. Pure padding in a bathing suit. No liquid inside of these things, but I will say this, when you wear this in the water, this padding does soak up the water like a sponge. So as you can tell, there is weird oily substances coming out of the Wonder Bra. But that is what is inside of a Wonder Bra. It may or may not kill me. I guess we'll find out if I ever upload another video.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and go check out my other videos and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.